Why? Is Yves Saint Laurent Y EDP the best blue fragrance in the game? So yes, people, it's Paul with Fragrances. I am back again to do a quick review of Yves Saint Laurent Y EDP. Now I haven't done the EDP yet because uh, I haven't got it, so I can't review something I haven't got. So this one is Yves Saint Laurent's version of the blue fragrance world. This is an absolute beast. I love it. So at the top, it's quite citrusy. It's quite um, herbal, quite uplifting. Um, it's got a bit of apple in there. Really nice fragrance. But I have a problem with this one. If you're starting out in the game, I don't think this is the start first fragrance you want to get as a blue fragrance. And I don't want to get your Dior Sauvage or Blue de Chanel. I won't get any of those. If you're starting out, I would go with this little beaut, Versace Dylan Blue. This one is always at discounters. It's always heavily marked off. It does exactly a good job enough job as all the other ones, if not better. This performs just as good as all of them. So if you're trying to save some money and you're just starting out in the game, get Versace Dylan Blue. If you're in it for a while, there's no reason why you can't have this as a backup. This one is a very good to start with. If you want to go a bit more advanced, this is definitely one for you. Um, I'm not saying this is a bad fragrance at all. I think it's a brilliant fragrance. It is the, like a Swiss Army knife of fragrances. And for me, it's really a dumb reach if you're struggling to know what the hell to wear. You can wear this or you can wear Dylan Blue anytime you like. And you guarantee people go, oh, what are you wearing? And I guarantee you, they'll go, oh, that's really nice. So, no. so they're definitely going to give you a compliment factor. And it'll definitely make you feel good about yourself. So that's good pluses from both of them. It's the same with the Chauvage and it's the same with Blue Chanel. And, and you can get any version of any of these. I mean, if you get Y Live, they're the same. It's, you can get the Blue Chanel EDP, Parfum. Any of these will all work for you. They're just different levels of richness. But I'll go into that another time. But I do think Y is a really good release. It's only been out three years. It's one of the biggest sellers for Yves Saint Laurent ever. Um, they've got a few of the flankers off this. So they've got uh, Y O Fresh, Y Live, um, the new one La Parfum, which is one of my next purchases to get. This one, honestly, is fantastic. So projection off my skin, I get two hours off this, which again, for a designer fragrance, that's pretty decent. If it's even cooler and it's coming into winter months, this will actually perform better. Um, it does work in high heat, so it's very versatile on that front. You can wear it casually, you can wear it formally, you can wear it pretty much any way you like. And you're never going to have someone go, oh my god, what are you wearing? They'll probably go, what are you wearing? Because I want to smell like just like you. Um, longevity, I get 8 to 10 hours. Now, it depends on how warm the day is. If it's a really, really hot day, this is going to give you 8 hours. If it's a cooler day... 10 plus hours easily. So again, for a designer fragrance, that's good. I do prefer Yves Saint Laurent White over Dior Sauvage EDT. Personally, because the embroxing in the Dior Sauvage is just overwhelming. But this one, it's tapered back a little bit. And it's just more of a gentle sillage of what you'll smell from the back of you. So I like it for that. So there you go. Alright, so let me know in the comments what you think. Would you prefer Sasha Dylan Blue? What blue fragrance is your favourite? Because I'm really interested in that. Let me know if you want a top 10 list, a review, you name it. I'm also on Instagram at Form of Fragrances. And like I said, I'm posting there most days. And as always, you're legends. Smell sexy. Peace out.